everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPhone XR. So I always watch these videos, I don't know whether... I'm just nosy, that's why. And I know so many people watch these videos to find out what apps people use to do certain things, to find new apps for themselves, and yeah, I just think it's really interesting and really popular. So like I said, I have the iPhone XR. I got this, I think it was the end of 2019. So over a year old now, and it's still doing me well, touch wood, even though on my birthday at the end of December, I pretty much had a panic attack when it wouldn't turn on and it just froze on the Apple symbol. It turned off on its own and froze on the Apple symbol. And I had to completely wipe my phone. And luckily, I had everything backed up on iCloud, so I restored it. But, yeah, touch wood, it keeps me going for a bit longer. I'm tempted to get the iPhone 12. Do I need it? Not really. So, I've got the XR for now. So, as you can see, this is my home screen. This is my vision board. I made in one of my previous videos. This one's slightly different though because I made it for my lock screen and then I'm going to swipe up to unlock. As you can see my background to my phone when it's unlocked is of one of my dogs, Maisie. And yeah, this is pretty much a normal phone screen, same as everyone else on the first page. This just has all of the apps that the iPhone comes with. And then on the next page I've got the new well, it's not really new anymore, is it? But the Widget Smiths. This is from the... I can't remember what update it was, but there was one where everyone went crazy. Was it iOS 11? I can't remember. But everyone went crazy to customise their phones. I used their basic one. I've got the date at the top. Um, quite big, so I'm not going to forget the day. And then below I've got what time the sun sets and then in the evening, once the sun has set, it will tell me what time the sun is going to rise. So on this page, this is the only page I have on my phone. And on here I've got Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram Messenger, Google, Twitter, Gmail, Spotify, YouTube, WhatsApp, my Halifax app. And then on this YouTube one I have YouTube Studio, YouTube Tracker, and TubeBuddy, which I also use a lot. And then if I swipe again, this is the app library, and basically your phone puts all of your apps in categories on its own, so you don't have to do it, which is really, really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through them. On my socials one, I have Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, TikTok, and Twitter. So I use all of these and it's probably my most used section and then after this we've got productivity and finance. On here you've got all your mails, your banking, so all the boring stuff. Next we have creativity. This is my sort of editing apps that I use to edit certain things, edit pictures, edit thumbnails. I've got... Um, my YouTube studio, so where I can track my videos. And then entertainment as well, so like YouTube, Spotify, Netflix. And then there's utilities, so on here, a lot of these are the apps that also come with the iPhone, but I've added Google, Chrome, and YouTube Tracker. If you have YouTube, or if you've got a YouTube channel, I'd highly recommend getting YouTube Tracker because it tells you how far away you are from getting the amount of subscribers you need to be monetized and then the same with watch hours as well so it's really handy to have next shopping this is probably another one of my most used things it's shopping and food actually so i'm not going to read out everything on here but the most used ones that i use a lot is amazon for sure asos beauty bay domino's when i like to treat myself H&M, I like to look on Ikea a lot as well, I like Mango, Misguided, 
Pretty Little Thing, Zara, Urban Outfitters, Topshop. They're probably my main ones and I also have Uni Days and Student Beans as well for my discounts. So yeah, they're my most used ones. And then Travel. Can't really get anywhere at the moment but this is all like my maps and then my holiday apps as well to find a holiday on. Not that I've used it yet. Hopefully at some point. Next up on here I've got games. So I do have quite a few games but I'm not that much of a game person. So I used to play 8 Ball Pool a lot. Among Us is so good. Acrylic Nails is quite fun as well, a bit satisfying. I used to play Best Fiends so much. I'm going to click on this actually and see what level I'm on if I'm still logged in. I'm level 54. So yeah, I used to play that quite a lot. Coin Master again. I used to play so much with my friends. And then you've got like Animal Crossing, Mr. Crab I used to love, Heyday used to be a classic, Mario Kart, Mario Run, Sonic Boom, Flip Master's good as well. So yeah, Candy Crush as well, what a classic. So yeah, I've got a fair few games. And then finally down at the bottom I've got Health and Fitness. And on here I've got my Fitbit app which I don't actually wear anymore because I have an Apple Watch. So I've also got my Apple Watch fitness app. FitSense, which was to book in to go to my old gym. I can probably delete that now. Health, so you can track your health. My Fitness Pal, which I used to track my food on. The NHS COVID app. Nike Run, which was what I used to track how far I used to either walk or run and another gym app so yeah that's pretty much all of my apps on my phone and also pretty much everything i can show you so i hope you found some new apps from this if you want to find out how i edit my thumbnails and i can always make a separate video on that if you want to see it but yeah other than that i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one